Hello everyone, Ash here, and since today is Halloween, I thought I would review a horror movie. Okay, not the most original idea for Halloween episode, but still better than my first film I thought of, The Adventures of Milo and Otis. That movie's scary because it might have had real animals die in the movie. Moving on, today I am reviewing Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow came out in 1999. It was directed by Tim Burton, and the person in almost every one of Tim Burton's films, of course, Johnny Depp. Now, the story is based off the Headless Horseman, and even though this is a Tim Burton film, I think Sam Raimi gave him a few ideas. I'll get to what I mean later. But in the meantime, let's get this review started of Sleepy Hollow. So the film begins with a man in a carriage and his son driving the carriage. Then the man in the carriage hears another horse. He looks outside and sees that his son has his head chopped off. So he gets out of the carriage and starts to run. Then he gets his head chopped off. After that, we go to New York. The year, 1799. And we meet Ichabod Crane. He's played by Johnny Depp, who does a good job with this role. I feel he never goes too over the top as Ichabod Crane. In fact, Ichabod Crane is the second best character in Sleepy Hollow. I'll get to who the best character in Sleepy Hollow is later, but it should be pretty obvious. Now back to the film. So Ichabod Crane finds the body of a man who drowned in the river. When we get to the prison, the guard says to burn the body. Ichabod Crane says, wait, we must see how he died. The guard says, we know how he died. Then after that, we cut to a courtroom scene where we see Christopher Lee as a judge. Sadly, this is the only time we see him. I know, I know, I wish he was in more of the film as well. So Lee's character tells Ichabod Crane he wants him to go to the town of C.P. Hollow and for Ichabod Crane to use his methods to find out who killed three people. So Ichabod Crane heads to the town of Sleepy Hollow, and like any small town in a horror film, the people aren't friendly, it's quiet, and there's a lot and lots of gray. Does the sun ever come up in these type of horror films? So Ichabod Crane heads to the Van Tussel house. When Ichabod Crane gets to the house, he sees they're having a party, and he meets Catherine Van Tussel, the daughter of, I'm going to butcher his name probably, Baltus Von Tussel. She meets Ichabod Crane while she's playing a game blindfolded and gives him a kiss. Then Ichabod Crane goes into the room where all who run the village are in. Ichabod Crane says one of them is the killer. They all say it's the Headless Horseman and tell the story of the Headless Horseman. When they tell the story of the Headless Horseman, here's what they say. That one girl broke a branch he got caught and he was beheaded. In the actual story of the Headless Horseman, a cannon was fired and blew off his head. Because the Headless Horseman is just a legend and not a true story, I'm fine with them changing that part. After that scene, a man and guard sees something come out of the woods. He shoots it. Then we see him run and get beheaded. The next day, everyone finds out that there has been a fourth victim. They find the body and Ichabod Crane starts examining the body and notices that where the head was cut off was burnt. Then we cut to the funeral where we meet a young boy whose father was the one that was killed. He wants to work with Ichabod Crane. Ichabod Crane tells the boy that his mother needs him more. The boy says that she died as well. Ichabod Crane still says no, then finds out that there were five that were killed, not four. And after finding that out, he asks the boy for help. So he digs up the female body and opens it, and finds out that she was having a baby. After that, we cut to night where Ichabod Crane is riding alone, and he sees the Headless Horseman. The Horseman starts charging after him and throws a pumpkin at him, and then rides off. It's not the real Headless Horseman, just Rico from Starship Troopers. After that, Ichabod Crane has a dream about his past. I'll get more into that later. He wakes up and talks to Catherine Von Tussel about how most of the houses are connected to each other by wealth or family. Then after that, Ichabod Crane meets one of the men at night 
and Ichabod Crane says there is no headless horseman. Then the actual headless horseman appears and chops off the head of the guy Ichabod Crane was talking to. Ichabod Crane faints, and the next day Ichabod Crane is in his bed, freaked out and telling everyone there is a headless horseman. They all say, we know, and he says, no, there really is a headless horseman.